What's up guys, happy doing having a freaking good day as always. So in today's video, we're at Lumpini Park here in Bangkok, Thailand. Absolutely amazing park, beautiful, loads of trees, loads of rivers and everything. And today's like the last day of like this uh, food festival they've got going in here. So uh, we're just gonna check it out, see what food they got and uh, yeah, stay tuned. So apparently it's a Red Cross festival now, not a food festival. She's lying to me just to come to dummy here and bloody check it out. So uh, I don't know what they're going to be selling down here. Hopefully they've got some food, but uh, we'll find out in a second. If not, friggin' blame her for a terrible video. There's a fried chickeny place. Here's a queue for Ovaltine, which is still popular over here. So, huh? Oh yeah, we have a butcher's in a set. So we're in the food section now apparently and absolutely packed AF. I yeah, probably can't do that much recording. And mum's attacking me with a walking stick as always. Kanang Bulang Thai, which is like a, a really crappy like cardboardy top with some like sweet egg egg white and that with some uh, yeah coconut inside. And, and that one here yeah, with egg yolk. Relatively popular here, but uh, yeah, I wouldn't say it's the best thing to choose. Here's like the prawn soaked in uh, soy sauce and garlic and chili, and then the same with the salmon, and same with the crab. Okay, guys, this is quite a good uh, keto choice. And this one's a uh, fresh tamarind. Check it out, awesome fruit. This too many cards for keto, but nice as a treat. It's tamarind, mother. Yeah. Different ways of doing it. Yeah, yeah. His mum trying some now. What do you think? I'll tell you that as a no. No, it's all right. No, no. she like spits it out. <laughs> this one is fish cake. Check it out. One guy. This one is the green curry with chicken, and this one is like with uh, the same, but with a uh, fish. I think you know what this one is. Watermelon. Here you go. Watermelon, and it's got an F U. F U. <laughs> That's so refreshing. That watermelon smoothie. No sugar in this one. Here we are. So this is a stewed stew port leg and that in like a Chinese five spice soy sauce with the eggs. Then you got your garlic, chilies, and like mustard greens. Oh your favourite? Mm. Your favourite carby um, treat. Check it out. The rice crackers. Wasabi. This one's wasabi. Yeah. This one's um this one's dom yum. This one's barbecue. You know all the ones with the, the, the caramel, coconut caramel on top. Yeah, mm, yeah. Ooh, yeah. This is a, yeah, like a, a Thai sausage. And then they serve it with like lettuce, chili, and pickled cucumber. What have we got on this one? Oh, it's the Chinese duck, isn't it? Everyone's favorite Chinese duck. We've got some smoothies going on. Fruit smoothies. Mam wang. Mam bla wan. So this one is like a mango with like a fish sort of sweet fishy sauce for it. So Mamuang is um, mango and then Blauwan is the sauce. And this one's quite popular over here. It's the sweet corn and they serve it with like butter. Butter, which is just um, transhydrogenated fat and uh, sugar on. Because everything needs to be sweet here. Corn milk. Corn milk is absolutely delicious. Yeah, mum's favourite mango sticky rice. Absolutely delicious. 99% freaking carbs. Uh, it's not terrible. Obviously this food is not keto. Oh man, it's just so busy in here. It's ridiculous. So hard to record. And um, yeah, it's cute. Like a coconut thing. Coconut one with like a crab. Spicy food. Huh? <laughs> Spicy food as the guy just said. Freaking idiot. How much? What do you That's expensive. Yeah. It'll be expensive. Yeah, 100 and, 120 baht. Wow. Candy floss. And check out this one. This is one of my favorites. This is a Mian Kam. So one of them, 20 baht. A bit expensive. Obviously, oh, the deep fried things. Prawns. Spring roll. Sweet corn, all deep fried. And this one, we got like the barbecue. I had this like three years ago. Check that video out if you haven't already. We got more of the tamu again. The same as the last one, the port leg and the eggs. More of the sausages. A lot more of them. Just trying the sweet corn. Not bad. 
It's like the, the coconut in there, and that one's, um, what's it called, the pandan, pandan leaf. And like a jelly, I think they use agar agar, if I remember correctly. They layer it, it's really nice. And mum's trying the lovely um, Bunbei sort. That's really nice. Now, I don't think it's agar agar, so I'm gelatin, I think. It's delicious. Mm. Nice. Quite good, isn't it? I think that looks better than the one you just bought. Look, chin. So the famous pork walls. They've got different ones. I'm going to try, man. I want to try it. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, I have one if you want. Um, maybe you should just try the share one. We share one, yeah. Yeah, yeah, song mine. But obviously. Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot. Mom cannot eat spicy. And she said, yeah, love it in the spicy sauce. They got the, what's it called, the bachang. We used to like that, Mum. Nightmare, absolutely nightmare. They've got all the space in the park and they just jam everything packed in like this friggin' tent. It's like so friggin' many people, it's ridiculous. The Chinese fish more soup. This is the bachang, it's like rice with like a loads of Chinese um, things, ginkgo and beans inside, it's quite nice. And this one is like really cool. It's like made with like soy, soy and sugar and they dip it in the gelatine and make all the fruits. That's awesome. Yeah, not the best tasting but it looks awesome. And not too sure what this one is, what you call it, what do you call it? Grongreng? Grongreng. It's like a crispy sort of uh, fried batter, not too bad. And similar to this one as well, it's like the roti, this one's roti and it's deep fried, small bag, big bag. It's one of my favourite Japanese food, it's always quite popular in this in Thailand now, it's the daifuku. If you don't know what daifuku is, it's like a, a sweet sort of um, rice flour and they wrap it around sort of stuff, normally like um, a bean paste or something. This one they got it in strawberries, absolutely love it, so delicious. Obviously not keto. So yeah, just get some of the um, some of the day for cook. Oh, and they do some brownies. Brownies are well popular here in Thailand. That's this one here. Khao Kai Jiao. Kai Jiao. It's the omelette and then cow's rice. So it's just the rice on top of an omelette. This one over here is quite popular in Thailand. It's called uh, water. I'm not sure if you get it in your country. Sushi is so popular here in Thailand. Check it out. Oh, we had sushi on yesterday's uh, meal. So check that video out if you haven't already after this one. I say they put the coconut on top as well. Doesn't look that advertising, but trust me, it tastes better than it looks. And uh, yeah, we're just coming back out of the exit now and she's decided to get some of these. Do you want any of the Yeah, good one. I'm not sure if mum would like this though. Look, mum. So, just gonna see what mum thinks of it. I don't think she's gonna like it. Um, it's kind of lost mum at the moment. Where's mum gone? I don't know. <laughs> I'm seeing a pig or something, so she just wants to show me. Not sure if it's a girlfriend or not. <laughs> Check it out, looks pretty big. Wow, awesome. Check out that, guys. Oh my god, that is wicked. Oh, how delicious does that look? Vegetarians and vegans, look away now. <laughs> how much for the whole pig? I don't know. These ones for 200. Little bit expensive. Looks freaking delicious though, but a bit expensive. This is like the Muslimy type food, the matamagai. I'm not really sure what it is, but it's like in a uh, in a roti and uh, obviously deep fried and stuffed with something. Oh, chicken, obviously. That's what guy is? Oh uh, yeah, we got some of the different sweet. There's obviously a moon cake thing yeah. with like uh, beans inside, and then I um, can't remember what this one is. Back to, um, I'm not sure what that is. Oh, pop on cap. This is the peanut brittle. Check it out, peanut brittle, mum's favourite. Mm. Just having a naughty little treat again, a peanut brittle, pretty nice. Good size, uh, good size, uh, good size free samples as well. That's what I was trying to say. Mm. Oh, We've mm, got some um, ice cream as well here. Look, oh, melon ice cream. Oh, ice cream cow. Cow? Really? Oh, one rice ice cream. Yeah. And more rice ice cream. The the dark rice. Rice berry. Rice berry rice ice cream. Oh, yeah. And black sticky rice ice cream. That's interesting. They're probably putting the sesame bean and beans on. Oh, is it black sticky rice they're putting on top? Yeah. Black sticky yeah. rice. Two scoops, forty part. Oh, I love 
Yeah. yeah. Oh, something we haven't tried before. No. We've just got all the, some of the rice ice cream. Mm -hmm. The rice berry. The rice berry and what? The normal one or the black? No, the black one. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, we go for those then. then. Yeah. <laughs> Nuh, <nuh>, cop and car. <laughs> Yang ma, ma. Yang ma. <laughs> there you go, check it out. Wicked. Oh, that's nice. Nice with the beans on. Okay, ready. What do you think? What do you think, mum? I don't get like the full sort of ricey sort of taste. It's like, like coconutty, but it's nice with the um, the black sesame seeds on top as well. Quite different actually. Yeah, yeah, rather nice. So yeah, we just came out of the food section now, and here they got some like uh, promotiony sort of things and whatnot, Hello. like some army and like Red Cross stuff. It's friggin' a loud AF, like you probably can't really hear me. Uh, you can buy some uh, lovely uh, processed soy oil there for twenty mark. Take your photo in some soldier thing. Listen to some Thai country music. Now yeah, just about to get run over by a golf uh, golf cart. It was a close call. There we go, we've got some uh, ice cream now on this area. So yeah, yaki soba. I love yaki soba. We've got over here some lovely instant noodles and uh, evaporated milk. Extremely healthy. <laughs> oh, check it out, everyone's favourite snack, the insects. Uh, have you ever tried these? Will, would you try these? Let me know in the comments. These ones. Say they're the way to go. Yeah, high protein. These are a good keto snack, guys. Get your protein in. Oh, check out this. We've got some lovely, uh, lovely hot doggy stick thing pancakes. Yeah, very cool. Mm, coconut. Who does not like coconut water? Wonderful. Weird girl in a way. Oh, what have we got here? Nom yisi percent. Go go beti percent. Yeah, Ali tau lai ka. Okay, cup on cup. Focus, focus. That's annoying. Didn't bloody focus. <laughs> bloody hell, <laughs> woman. <laughs> so check it out, she's just got a uh, cocoa smoothie milk drink. Mm. That's not bad. That's really chocolatey actually. That's a, yeah, that's a decent chocolate one that. That's really nice. Too chocolatey for mum. Mum won't know that. <laughs> that. Daddy would have liked that. And check it out, Mrs. I'm full up. I can't eat anything else. It's just getting some squid eggs. What size do you get? Probably getting an XL knowing you. There we go, check it out. Squid eggs with the cabbage and the chili sauce on top. What do you think? Cold, really? Ow. Just trying the squid eggs. Mm. Alright. Do I have on my mouth? Yeah, quite nice the squid eggs. Squid eggs. And check it out guys, oh, actually unbelievable, look at that. It's like a German keto sausage. And there's the sausages over here, check them out. Wheat bloody hell. There you go. And check it out, we're just coming up to another foodie section. Oh my God, it's so busy. I can't believe they're not gonna run this uh, for any longer. They must be like raking in the money. Yeah, just looking around, they got similar sort of stuff. Oh, this one's uh, new, the waffles. It's rather nice. So yeah, we're just coming around the corner again and so obviously a lot more busy. So there's another one selling the pork scratchings with like a, the chili sort of dipping sauce. And we got like the Fei Ua and Tian Wei sausage. So obviously that's from uh, Chiang Mai, North Thailand. They always sort of go hand in hand with the, the pork scratchings and that chili sort of type dipping sauce. And it's not that spicy, but uh, yeah, it's rather nice. Pretty much keto as well, people, if you're interested in that. What have we got here? Only together, everything is possible. What are the bollocks? <laughs> Walking around here, loads more sort of uh, foodie places. Pretty much the same thing now, but I can't believe how busy it is. It's really nice and thriving though. Check it out, guys. There's a monitor lizard in the water. Oh, check out these. These are the awesome, uh, yeah, potatoes. Yeah, the spiral potatoes. This is, I'm full up, I can't eat anything else, I'm gonna buy some. Mm, I think barbecue de guana. So check it out, they're just getting some of these lovely potato spiral things. They do like two flavors, like barbecue and paprika. There we go, check it out. Of course it's cold, it's crisps. They don't have hot crisps. Yeah. I don't know, your hand's wonderful though, mother. No, no flavor, soggy. Ugh, rubbish. 
definitely not worth the carbohydrates. Let's go check it out. <laughs> so they just told you to make sure you like and subscribe as well. <laughs> so it's a pork sausage with like noodles inside. Mm. Not bad, not bad. Much better than the freaking potato on a stick. Yeah, these are really nice. Check them out. Check it out, guys. We got another pig. Poor pig with a lovely uh, bit of tin foil stuck up his uh, bum hole. Poor piggy. It's freaking delicious, though. Not the bum hole, the pig. Check it out. Oh, yes. Yeah, delicious. Look, look at all that lovely pork belly. Look at all the fat on there. Absolutely delicious. So freaking good. Lovely, moist, juicy fat and uh, so crispy on the outside. It's so yummy. That's macadamia, that one. Mamuang, my pan. That's the cashew and puenian again. Must be jackfruit. You can't smell it. You can't smell it? No, not really. Yeah. Durin is like a 690 baht a kilo for mong tong, which is uh, the basic oil variety. Very popular. Oh, check it out, guys. We got some uh, cakes. Obviously, I think these are pretty much Thai style cakes. Some it's very hit and miss here. Sometimes you get a really decent one. Some of them, uh, yeah, a bit tasteless. I would say for the price here, three pieces for 100 baht. So not badly priced. Probably going to be tasteless. Oh, they look awesome. I'd say all show and no go. Mum, mum, do you remember when I was a kid? The, what's it called? Uh, the, uh, the happy facey things. I used to have them all the time. Haha. Oh, oh. oh dear, that brings back memories. No, no. No. Yes. You always do this. I'll buy for you, even though I want to eat it and I will just give you like 5% of it. He likes the faces. That just brings back memory. Remember, I used to have them, remember, really on a Saturday morning. Yeah. Potato waffles, Potato the smiley waffles, face smiley ones. Face, yeah. yeah, that brings back memories. Yeah, we those back in the day, back in the day. Yeah. Still young, what are you talking about? <laughs> Still bloody young, not that long ago. Still a child, look at this. Mm. Yeah, cheeky cheer. Definitely not keto, that's for sure. Nice as a treat, though, nice as a treat. Check them out inside. Smiley waffles. Here's mum having one of the smiley waffles. What's it like? As good as you remember? <laughs> this brings me back. Yeah, so there we go. Smiley uh, face. Delicious. That's very nice actually. Obviously you'd have to do a cauliflower one for keto, but uh, yeah, not bad, not bad. And here's uh, it's the bai doi, shall we? And this one we just got the bai doi, which is the pandan drink. What do you think? Is it? Oh, we got pandan drink, absolutely delicious. I well love pandan. You just need a little bit of boiling water, and you like got a lovely, um, a lovely fresh drink. So good. Adding some erythritol as well instead of sugar. Another pandan drink. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing, my love? I know, we just found it. Which way round is it? That way? That way? The, the what's it called? The uh, like, like jerky. Put outside where the sun dry a bit and uh, then the more dead deal, shall we? Yeah, oh, and then the fry it. Yeah, we used to get that all the time. Yeah. Yeah. This one, this one's a uh, recent one. This one's more like jerky. They have pork and beef. Mm. Do you want to try a beef one? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Mm. It's a lovely stuff. 1,400 per kilo. So, what did you want to say? Go somewhere else, is what you said. Maybe it's a good, maybe bad, so 100 grams? Yeah, if you want. Yeah. Definitely not getting a kilo. <laughs> I just had to give them an English lesson for their, for their selling of the, the beef, checking all the English. It's in the bag. It's it is in a bag already, no? No, here. You didn't specify, mother. <laughs> we'll just walk around this way and go around. Yeah. I oh, know, yeah. No, li li literally, that's from getting the pound down drink and the, the smiley faces. And then next minute, it's like pitch black. And what have we got here? With the elder, I some boat noodles. Mm, check it out. Some more fried squid eggs, some fried fish, and sausages. Check it out. This one looks nice, doesn't it? At the end. La sombre gang. 
still walking around. Absolutely loads of food still. I can't believe it. It's so busy. Absolutely amazing. There's such a huge variety of stuff. We just have a butcher's down here still. And uh, mum thought it would be a good idea to throw some of the bags away. Threw half the food away. Look at our mother. <laughs> oh, check it out. We've got the lovely park as well. So I think we're coming out the foodie section in a bit. It's got some like clothes and everything now. And I think apparently they're supposed to have like a mini theme park thing. I think there's like a Ferris wheel over there. Don't think you can hear us that well though. Oh my god, it's loud. <laughs> Mum's gonna buy a pillow now, apparently. Oh, 100 baht for a pillow bargain. Top service, 100 baht, and they give us a free bit of cloth to hold it. Cloth on cam. Check out that, that looks awesome. Kinoi. Oh, that's awesome, that looks wicked. It's like very Korean style. This must be the Korean section. Check it out, so they got all like the Korean, uh, what's it called, octopus and stuff. Check out those hot doggy things. What? Oh, your favourite mum, chestnuts. You've got to have some for Christmas, Christmas time chestnuts mum. How many you get for 140? Uh, we just decided to get some chestnuts obviously. Christmas time we've got to have some chestnuts, some roast chestnuts. We used to do them all the time in England, they hardly ever get them now. Is annoying person. Yeah, it sucks. I don't know why they didn't sell him. Funny enough, they did have some reduced ones just before I came Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, we're just getting uh, half a kilo. Okay, thank you. <laughs> and I just got attacked by a friggin' chestnut, just exploded all over me. <laughs> Bloody hell. That made us jump. <laughs> Bloody hell. All over my top. It's not hot, though. No, it's fine, it's fine. <laughs> Maybe ask for a discount. <laughs> Check out the queue, guys, if you want a Milo. Mmm, massive queue. Some weird drinks with uh, plastic blow up things. Oh, they're quite funky. Look at them. <laughs> you can get these cool um, mini things here as well. Check out that. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, check it out. We've got the Canon Beer. Makeup time, get your makeup. Korean makeup. Five hours later, still looking at bloody bras. We just tried this like dried coconut, dried toasted coconut. Just gonna get one uh, one pot of that. Probably can't hear me. There we go, check it out. There we go, check it out. We just got around this other section now and they all the lights in the trees. Look, it looks awesome. How wicked does that look? That's well nice, isn't it? Beautiful, isn't it? Check it out down here, loads of them. That is nice. Check it out, cool, uh, probably more food inside. Wicked. Oh, this is so nice with the freaking lights. There's loads more food in there, Mum. <laughs> I think there's loads of like desserts and stuff. Chi, kichi? Kichi. Kichi dai fuku. Awesome dai fuku again. The mother sort of uh, desserts, I nearly went flying. More sugary drinks. The famous giant chicken, check it out. Uh, the sacred chicken Thailand. It's blessed up with his giant eggs. <laughs> Check it out. Massive foodie area again. It looks like loads of stir fry, eggy, pancake things. Check out the size of those eggs. Massive. Check it out. You can win, a, win some cuddly toys over there. Good old carnival games, all rigged. <laughs> Carnival always wins. Check it out, you can win a massive dip. The fashion show. Awesome. Very cool. Oh, look at that. Some poor, poor guy who's being um, sexually abused by uh, an alien. <laughs> Getting his own uh, anal, anal probe. Anal probing. <laughs> So, yeah, if you're scared of heights, check out the Ferris wheel. It's so tiny, oh my god. <laughs> yeah, even if you're scared of heights, I think you'll be alright on this one. Thank you. 
Check it out, I used to love that ride. That's awesome. Look at the queue though, it's massive. Wicked. Oh, check it out, I used to love this ride as well. Especially when it spins well fast. Yes, awesome. That's it, that's what you want to do, spin it. Spin it until you puke. <laughs> I said this one's for you, over here. Yeah, that'll be alright for you, I think. <laughs> it's a bigger Ferris wheel. I thought I saw a bigger one here, check it out. Oh, check it out, I haven't been through a like, carnival in absolutely ages. It's so cool. Loads of people, loads of little rides and... What? Oh, really? Apparently got a Ferris wheel back in my city in England. Oh, I used to like the spinny one as well. Check out that. It's a roller coaster I was saying about. That's pretty scary though. That's quite high. That's a bit too high now. That's very scary. That is, that is really scary. Especially the, the face of the guy on the front. Check out the awesome train. Wicked. The tunnel of LEDs. Wicked. Check out that. Who does not like a good old train ride? <laughs> Ferris wheel number three. A bit taller this one. I think this is the tallest one. Oh, they got like the, the Kari one. I used to like that as well. Oh, they got like the bumper cars. Wicked. Yeah. Have they? You're kidding. No. Really? Yeah, I'm sure they have. We're going inside a ghost house now. Yeah, it's scary. Oh. I'm so scared. I'm so scared. I just touched my bum. <laughs> I'm, I'm serious. Someone just stuck their finger in my bum. I thought it was you. Come on. Wow, that was. Um... <laughs> Yeah, that's got to be the worst ghost house ever. The only thing scary about that is how much it costs. <laughs> Bloody hell. <laughs> yeah, very great, great experience. And there we go then guys, that was our trip around uh, Lumpini Park, showing you the food festival and all like the fairy ground stuff and whatnot. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you... Fantastic. Yep. Yeah. Fantastic, okay, mother? Yes, brilliant. Brilliant, fantastic. I am thoroughly enjoyed it. So yeah, anyway, make sure you like and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram, follow me on Twitter, and I will catch you on the next video. Take care and stay cool. Chicka pow, 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 pow. Chicka pow, pow, pow. Ah, you got the right way this time. Miracle. I'm the opposite Ciao.